hello so what we see in front of us right now is the oldest model of fcs it's called a pfcs um, the exercise what i am trying to do is to have a look at the different types of fcs that we have and uh, go through them in the hierarchical order of their development so we start with the pfcs because this was the earliest fcs that was created so let's get on with the configuration details okay now what you see over here these two units they are called the power supply units and uh, these two they are the communic control cards and what you see over here these are the tip switches which are meant for setting the address of this unit okay fine now uh, you see two in number for a power unit and your controller card and this is all with the concept of redundancy let's say one power supply fails you have still another one to carry on the activities similarly for the control cards as well okay what you see on the top these two they are called the um, bus coupler units okay they uh, are meant for connecting your fcs unit to your his that is your human interface station and uh, this is the oldest model of pfcs so we don't have nodes over here instead we just have nests uh, what you see this you know what you see over here this is a nest this is a nest actually only two are being shown over here but pfcs can have a maximum of five nests these empty spaces that you see they can take over three nests so a total of 3 plus 2 that would you know come up to five so pfcs can have five nests now this is an analog unit and this is your io card which will do the processing signal conversion and things like that you give your you know terminals and ground over here directly from this unit and your particular card will do that configuration i'll just read out a sample model of a card this is aam51 this is an analog card okay and uh, this is a analog nest as well i believe and what you see over here this is a digital unit okay you will have a prefab cable or a ks cable which would be a set of wires that come up from your uh, marshalling cabinet all right fine now you can see a battery unit over here uh, these are also meant for redundancy and for cpu backups okay actually what you can notice i mean what you will notice is that there are three wires coming up okay this is this actually goes into your power supply unit which distributes your power into your two supply units let's say this fails then you have your batteries which can support it and uh, um, the type of wire connection that goes into your coupling if you can look inside see uh, we'll come to that but before that see this is meant for a vlnet connection okay when i talk about the vlnet connection there can be two types of connection from your fcs to his one is your uh, vlnet and other is your vnet um a vnet would look something like this this is your vnet blue in color 5 mm 10 mbps per second okay and it can it can be extended to a length of 500 meters uh with very less attenuation okay it is called versatile net and the short would be vnet vl net would look something like this um this is 2 mm and dia and uh, 10 mbps is the speed length can be 200 meters without any attenuation okay this is versatile linear net okay fine so what i was saying is in this bus coupler unit you connect your vl net cable hmm, to your his uh, we will cover a section where the connection is explained okay can you see something shining over there in one of those holes a silvery thing well that's a 50 ohm um, resistor 
that is what what they have done is they have terminated this end actually connection would be taken out only from this point and given to your desktop which serves as your his and this would be terminated otherwise it would lead to a communication error there wouldn't be a situation where you where you you know pick up connections from both these points one would be terminated and from the other you will take um i would like to correct that in the sense like if you have multiple number of fcs then in a, for the requirement of communication between an fcs and an fcs you might use this slot but otherwise pfcs it um, generally behaves as an independent unit and therefore this would be terminated okay mm, yeah i think i've covered most of the things regarding the pfcs well this is the oldest fcs and yeah fine now let's move on to the next in line which is your lfcs okay uh you can see the model number over here it says lfcd afs 10d okay uh now when it comes to your lfcs or fcs in general it has got two components one is your field control unit and your node interface unit and there can be one more that is remote interface unit uh, we'll cover these things let's start with the fcu why is it called as an fcu and why others are known as the riu or niu for that matter see fcu it has got a cp card or your controller card in this case these two are the cp cards now this is a node interface unit and you wouldn't see such a block over here basically trying to say all the controlling activities are handled by the cp card therefore this is your mother unit and therefore the fcu or the field control unit and niu is nothing but it is a node interface unit i mean this is the area which will uh, which uh, its its job is to you know uh, integrate with all the input output units and communicate them to your fcu so all it needs is a power supply and a communication card right plus some io cards over here okay uh, let's have a detailed look into the fcu the fcu contains two power supplies just as before for it and nancy and two cp cards with the dip switches for the address settings fine and this is your communication card we'll cover that thing in detail let's move on to the other stuffs then this is your bus coupler now compared to your earlier bus coupler which we had seen in pfcs here you can see this blue wire which means it's a vnet connection fine and this is your power supply unit fine now let's talk about our niu as i said niu it just contains of uh, consists of two power supply units and a and uh, communication cards for communicating with your fcs and all these things are your nests see there is uh, lfcs is more advanced than pfcs so what they have done they have introduced a node concept as well as they have retained the nest concept the nest concept is the same you can have a maximum of five nests on a board and this whole board is called one node okay similarly you can have multiple nodes but one node can have a maximum of 1 2 3 4 5 5 5 nests so that's a concept multiple nodes but five nests in one node okay now let's see how these two units communicate to each other um see this is your communication card this is also your communication card the model number reads as rb301 okay so what happens is this rb301 it has got an internal connection see um it has an hold on yeah it has an internal connection to your rio bus okay and from your rio bus you have a connection um which goes down like this down here okay and from here it comes up sorry it, it 